So what's happening, YouTube? Welcome to a Sean John TV. And on this episode, man, I have another video where I'm just going to be talking a little bit of basketball, man. Pretty much the second round of the East and West series are pretty much complete. Um, you have Boston facing off against the 76ers in game seven. Miami Heat, they moved on to the next round of conference finals. The Lakers sealed the deal. And also the Denver Nuggets, they sealed the deal in their respective series. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see who goes on, man. I mean, in this video right here, man, I'm going to be talking about um, a key player, man, for my favorite team. Of course, I'm a Lakers fan, man. And Anthony Davis, man, he is probably, in my opinion, the most important player for the Lakers if they're going to win a championship. And whenever I'm watching Anthony Davis, man, I'm just seeing a whole bunch of inconsistencies, man. And, you know, it's almost like half the time, you know, he's a top five player and half the time he's Mr. Irrelevant, man. I mean, I hate to say that, man. I mean, he's he's still more productive than a role player or a bench player, but, you know, he's not AD, man. And and over the span of his career, he's been kind of like dealing with, you know, some mishaps with injuries, not being available all the time. Um, whenever you watch him, man, he, you know, he goes off limping off the court, you know, something gets hit in the head by Kevin Looney, man. And, you know, talking about concussion protocol, I mean, what's up with Anthony Davis? Will he ever reach a level again of being consistent? Because as of late, I mean, I, I got the statistics here, man. Let's, let me go ahead and pull it up. So I'm going to zoom in on it. But like, so just for clarity, this video is actually recorded about a week ago and I'm real late to the party, but I will post the new statistics from Anthony Davis on the screen here. As you can see, he had a killer game one against the Nuggets, but reverted back to his old Dr. Jekyll and Hyde self game number two, only dropping 18 points. So this is kind of further proving my point on why I believe that he's half man, half so par but anyway back to the video i don't know man I'm, I'm not i'm not really getting the level that i believe i should get from anthony davis on a day-to-day -day basis man i mean i understand players have off nights but you could pretty much set on a on a calendar like when anthony davis is going to have an off day and if i'm the opposing team like we're facing denver next and they have in my opinion the mvp of the league on their team even though Embiid won but Jokic, in my in my opinion, is the best player in basketball. You know, especially from an analytics standpoint. And what position does he play? The same position that Anthony Davis plays. So, you know, in order for us to get past Denver and make it to the NBA Finals, we need Anthony Davis to be on, if possible. I know it's, it's hard to be, you know, 100% on point, but you got to be pretty close to 100%, man. He can't be taking off no game twos, no game fours. You know, ball out game one, take off game two, ball out game three, take off game four. Like you need to be consistent from start to finish. And in my opinion, I think all the other positions, man, as, as for the Denver Nuggets, I think we match up very well with Denver. You know, Jamal Murray, I personally don't think he's going to be getting in his bag like that. I mean, I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Yeah, that take did not age well at all. Murray has been cooking us. You know, we got too many great defenders. You got Vanderbilt. You know, you got um, Schroeder plays decent defense, especially matching up with Murray. You know, you got Rui um, Hachimura. So Anthony Davis just needs to do his job on Jokic. And if he does his job, I think we go into the finals. And guess what? I think we're going to be NBA champions. But if we keep on getting this on and off, hot and cold performance from Anthony Davis, man, I don't like my chances. I don't like my odds. So as a Lakers fan, Anthony Davis... I know it's a good chance you may not see this, but we need you, dog. We don't need no half and half. We don't need no 50-50. We need 100%, dog. And, you know, I know it ain't really intentional. At least I hope it's not intentional. You know, you be getting injured all the time and taking off all these games. But you got to remember who you are, dog. You know, there, there was once upon a time where Anthony Davis was a top two player in basketball, you know, and let's keep it real when he was with the Pelicans, you know, he was a top two player in basketball. Some may even argue, you know, the best player in basketball. And in my opinion, since he's been with the Lakers, he has yet to reach that other than his bubble year, but he has yet to reach that level. And he's still young. You know, I think was 29 years old, 29 years of age. So, you know, something's got to shake, dog. Something got to shake. But anyway, man, that's it for this video, man. I got one more video, um, or really two more videos. Of course, um, a lot of stuff been going on in Phoenix, man. 
I'm actually going to be talking about what's going on there, man. They just let go of their coach, made all these trades to sign one special player, man. So now the house is on fire. But anyway, man, click on that video. But love you. Peace.